Hello everybody, it's Percival here. Welcome back to our Sopping 2 cart. Anyways, I found out yesterday that my sister's cat, who was aptly named Kit, well, Kit is dead. And like, we can at least confirm the cause of death as being put down due to literal kidney failure. And she was having issues controlling her blood before that. Last time I saw her anyways. Not really something I can do anything. I don't care, obviously it sucks, but you know. When you're faced with literal kidney failure in a cat, you can't really do shit about it other than put them down so that they don't have to suffer more. I actually have more photos of Kit than I do of Smokey. Which is sort of interesting considering, you know, I have. I only go around my sister's place once in every. about three times a year. Roughly. And like that's due to scheduling stuff, because we had to schedule with her because, well, she works for me. Mm -hmm. I forget what exactly. <clears throat> Jaws, you have failed me. I'm just wondering what caused the kidney failure or if it's just something that came up with old age and shit, you know? Since I don't think my sister keeps any plants that will be poisonous to cats. And yes, Kit was an outdoor cat because, you know, I can't really do shit about that. Oh fuck my ping. Of course, when we had to get Bobby put down, this was due to skin infection that was obviously quite smelly. I think it might be mange or something. I know it was definitely something that the fucking that gave my dad and mum a side eye for. And I'm not sure why it was exactly. Because, you know, I don't really get told about these things. Since the possibility of animal death does upset me quite a bit. I'm not sure if there is a god. But you know, I hope Kit's at least being treated well, you know? Just 
which is like a really sweet cat. Very affectionate. Gives you love bites. Get to some of the instruction on the belly because she'll start attacking your fucking hat. Oh, damn it. Thanks for the booze, Barky. Ah! Whew. Jesus Christ. Chaos, chaos. Also, kit apparently you can really get from the dog much. The dog is called Lady. And she's being used for breeding, but you know. She's at least being taken care of, you know. It's more towards my brother in law's pet than my sister's. I like dogs can be quite sweet. It's more interesting cats. Fuck you, Amy. I run into the bloody thing. I am somehow very good at this map. I have no idea how that shit happened. Anyways, fucking Parliament. They're thinking about implementing some sort of online safety bill. That promises to fucking keep children safe because we care about the children. If you care about the children so much, then why the fuck don't you imprison Prince Andrew, whatever the fuck his name is? I know one of the fucking royals in power is a fucking paedophile. Anyways, if this bill does come to pass. Which, hopefully it doesn't, because I know the big tech companies are probably going to lobby against it. If it does come to pass, I'm not sure if I'll be able to work for Christopher Pan the other Avatar site that I work for. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to upload to YouTube, or even upload my art anywhere. Because, you know, a lot of people don't really care about the UK. When I say it's transphobia central, I fucking mean it. Most people around here have never heard of the trans person existing. And it's pretty difficult to get fucking hormone therapy. You know, the fucking thing that's needed for trans people to actually feel like they're okay in their body. And I think they've banned puberty blockers. So, like, there's nothing I can do about that without some fucking really extensive lobbying. Which obviously no one's gonna do because they write off the UK as a fucking lost cause. And focus on fucking America because America's bigger. America has more internet users. They actually use the sites that are frequent. And yeah, while I can theoretically get fucking hormone HRT, hormone replacement therapy, from the NHS, 
I'm not sure if I'll be able to, because there's a fucking long waiting list. It's uh, about six years, I think. Shit. And, like, if you think that the fucking waiting list for seeing a fucking ADHD specialist is long, then you have not fucking seen the waiting list for my replacement therapy. It's about six, six years, I think. I haven't really checked out on it. <sighs> God. Anyway, that's all for today because everyone else has left. Thanks for watching. If you like, you can probably leave a comment, subscribe, do whatever you f the fuck you do on YouTube. I'm not sure about the whole spiel and shit. I mean, I know I worked in a fucking call centre for a bit, but you know. I don't really do the spiels. <laughs>